I thought it might be interesting to expose you to some of what goes into creating an article, um, to the research, all the things that have to be done uh, on, on the back end uh, when you are doing research and creating content. I think that people have this notion that you'll just go to the library or the historical society or something, give them an address, and they just hand you a folder filled with everything you need. Well, it doesn't quite work like that. You are going to get the real deal and a very rich um, bunch of material through finding primary source documentation because that is one thing that we seem to be lacking today. We think that Google is now the encyclopedia uh, of the world and anything you want to know um, is going to be found on Google or Wikipedia, mon Dieu, even worse. So I'm going to show you where you do find the valid citation sources. It is called primary source documentation. The books, the newspapers, microfilm, um, the clipping files, um, other other original content um, and, and materials that you will find like in the historical society, letters, things like that. So um, it is very time consuming and we are going to distill it, you know, into something much, much shorter. Um, and uh, so I guess, uh, come on, let's go see what we can find. Okay, this is just one of the things that I love about doing research is I'm looking through this, you know, all this, these folders of correspondence. It's like, oh, dear Mr. Forsyth. Okay, yep, seen that, blah, blah. I get here, it's T.C. Steele. He wrote this. I'm touching something that T.C. Steele touched. <laughs> um, I, ho I hope that you uh, get a better sense of understanding of what it actually takes to research something. You can go in researching one um, one thing, one project, one person, one building, and you know, it's it's impossible for those of us with um, with ADD to uh, not get, ooh, squirrel shiny, you know, and, and get excited by some other thing that you discover along the way. It's just really fun to rediscover and find uh, how history really does repeat itself. And, um, and I guess the most important thing is, what, are we, what learning are we gonna take from all of this information that's available to us from before and use it to move forward in a really interesting direction and, um, and make things better in the future.